in the last part, we have concluded that the pressure within the fluid is only dependent on the height below the surface of the fluid. And this gives rise to a paradox, which is called hydrostatic paradox. If we consider these four container, whereby the bottom part of the containers have the same area, and if we are to measure the pressure at the bottom of the container, by considering the equations that we obtained earlier, since the height from the water surface are same, the pressure at the bottom here, 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 and here has to be the same. Although the weight of the fluid inside the container are different. Because of course, in the container which contains a lot of fluid, the weight of the fluid is a lot bigger compared to the first container whereby the amount of fluid is, is very small. So this gives rise to hydrostatic paradox. So if we consider these two containers, for example, this, is, this one is very thin, just like that, but the bottom part has the same area as another container, for example, just like that, and it's very big. And let's say the water level are the same. So this is H, and this is also H. So if you consider point 0.1 and point 0.2 here, so the area of this are the same. So P1 gauge is equal to rho G H, and P2 gauge is also equal to rho G H. And then, if the area here are the same, so that means that the force which is acting here, F1 is equal to P1, P1, A1, and F2 is equal to P2, A2 are the same. So regardless of the volume of the fluid, Above the surface, the pressure at the bottom are the same, and hence the force at the bottom are the same. This is what we call hydrostatic paradox. Let us observe this short video related to hydrostatic paradox. So we have three different container shapes. One is just a tube which has a constant diameter. So this person is pouring liquid up to certain level. So he marked the level of the liquid because after this, he's going to use two different containers and mark the force measured. So now he used a, a very small tube. The bottom part of the container is open and the area at the bottom is the same so that the force that we measure at the bottom are equivalent. So he will pour the liquid inside the container up to the same level as the previous one. So same level. So as we can see, although the volume of the fluid is now a lot smaller than the previous one, the force measured at the bottom are the same. So now we use a bigger uh, container. And again, he will pour this liquid up to the same level. So we can see that the needle is showing that the force is still exactly the same at the bottom, regardless of the volume of the liquid. So that is hydrostatic paradox.